Though great care has been taken to remove all bones, some may remain. I don't own one and never have. And, uh, and every restaurant that I've been the head chef and I've thrown the microwave away. I wouldn't go near it now, but like, <laughs> it's like all preference really. Like You can't boil pasta in the microwave. Actually, maybe you can. They denature food. What you put into the microwave and what you take out of the microwave aren't massively different. If you're going to serve me terrible things, it's, it's you I blame. Good heavens. God almighty. Looks a bit swampy. Yeah, is it consistency more like a stew? Carvery, canteen, school lunches. The vegetables? Non-toxic. Your man and dad would be making that shit all the time anyway. Like, he used to hate it. If I was served that in an airplane, I would be pleasantly surprised. A ferociously overcooked kind of a wet coat or something. Nutrition-wise, I doubt there's any. Irish beef dinner. Poor Ireland. It does have a sort of grandmotherly feel. I don't want to knock my grandmother's cooking. Terrible shame that cow died for that. I, out of 10, I give it like four. It's either a six or a three, depending on what everything else is like. I, I don't know what's coming, so let's give it one and save, <laughs> save one bullet. <laughs> the breaded microwave burger. Like microwave bread? Who'd microwave bread? It's actually in better shape than most double cheeseburgers you get out of McDonald's. Like. And, it's, and it's all soggy on the bottom. Can I see the meat through the bread? <laughs> is that why that's brown? That was much worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> it's like the meat's like a, it's like a stiff foam. One eighth as much meat as bun. So it's like chewing a pocket of air. It tastes like a science experiment. Chewing it, I can, I can hear it squeaking in my ears. It'd be my nightmare, I'd rather starve. It doesn't taste like it was ever an animal. Well, maybe it wasn't. I don't think it's false advertising that this isn't this, because you can see this sitting inside here. I mean, you know what you're getting. <laughs> I'll give that like two. I have to give this a three. A zero. <laughs> trickier to do. Okay, don't tell me what it is. I have no idea what this is though. Is that kale? Don't answer. So they're crunchy. Yeah. They're very likely cooked. I'm not 100% sure that's pasta. But that's, I mean, that's not bad. I'd be, I'd be surprised that that came from a microwave. I wouldn't serve this to an enemy. You could well get away with putting that out into a plane and say you made it yourself. Like, I think you can eat healthy and not torture yourself. But I think that's a fair dish. I would go to bed hungry to finish eating this bowl of thing. That's not that bad. I'll even taste it again. Give it an 8.5, an 8.5 an 8 or a 9. I, I think that, I think you won't do much better out of a microwave. Six out of 10? Definitely three. No, three, two. Please say that's a dessert and not a chunk of beef again. You're having difficulty getting out of the containers, are you? Because I was thinking that it could only be a slice of heart or something if it wasn't. Sticky toffee pudding like, it's not glam. Wow, you'd never serve a piece of sticky toffee pudding that size. You'd, you'd kill somebody. It looks better than it feels. I might want to read the box on that because there's a fat that coats your whole mouth like wallpaper paste. I would, in the desperate hours of long and lonely nights, eat this. It's respectable for what it is. You buy in a box and you're sticking it in a bing bong. Seven. Seven, maybe eight. Give it seven. Seven. That's not for me at all at all. At all. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't do it. I'm not converted and I'm a little concerned. So that looks like that was probably the top. You know, I can't reassemble it. No amount of surgery can put it back together. 